Article 1179 of the Civil Code. Dun 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 dun! Have you ever experienced being promised something by a parent or a friend? When I was young, my dad would always tell me, Hoy Miguel, I'll raise your allowance next school year if you get an A in math. Dad, for the science na lang. Favorite ko yun eh. Math is impossible to ace. No. But I said no. <sighs> okay. I hated math. But the allowance is definitely a good form of motivation. Another thing I also remember is when my mom used to tell me, Oi, Miguel, I let you go out every weekend as long as you keep doing your chores. But mom, I took out the trash yesterday. It's dad's turn. I don't care. Do it now and every day. Or you won't get to see your friends and your girlfriend. I hate her anyway. She's a potatious girl. Ew. And she went on and on and on. Later on, when I took off Law 21, did I realize that these were actually examples of conditional obligation. But before all this, let's define the word obligation. An obligation is a juridical necessity to give, to do, or not to do. There are many kinds of obligations. But for today, our main topic would be pure and conditional obligations. Now let's describe the word condition. A condition is a future and uncertain event which, when fulfilled, gives rise to or extinguishes an obligation. There are two types of conditions, suspensive and resolutory. In my previous example, the condition given by my dad is a type of suspensive condition, which gives rise to an obligation. If you don't get an A in math, I will not raise your allowance. Thinking back, the suspensive condition here is my getting an A in math. If this doesn't happen, my dad will not be obligated to raise my allowance. My other example demonstrates a resolutory condition. If we don't do your chores, I won't let you out of the house. As long as I keep doing my chores, my mom would let me out but once I stop, I'll be grounded. The resolutory condition here which extinguishes my mom's obligation of letting me out every weekend is my failure to finish my chores. The other kind of obligation is pure. It's not what you're thinking. So, what is a pure obligation? A pure obligation is one which is not subject to any condition and no specific date is mentioned for its fulfillment. Therefore, it is immediately demandable. An example of this was when my best friend Jan lent me money. Oi Jan, can I borrow your money naman? Nagbet ako sa Ateneo Lasal game eh. Talo, alat. I don't have money right now eh. Sure bro. Thanks bro. Promise to pay you back whenever you demand or ask for it. Hey bro, balik mo na pera ko tomorrow, please. Sige pare. Thanks bro. Anytime bro. Thanks din. Here, there is no condition. My obligation to pay Jan back was immediately demandable. 